Hi guys, welcome back. We have another sketchbook with us today. I'm kind of guessing this is a univer another university one. I keep picking up the university ones. I haven't got around to my college what college Col no, college one sketchbooks yet. Uh, it says I think I can make it out 2017-2018. I'm not sure what kind of project this is. Okay, starting off with some artist research which looks like it's been covered up which is covering up some drawing <laughs> behind it i'm also if you haven't guessed wearing a jumper and adjusting now because i'm absolutely freezing and we can't afford heating right now <laughs> and i've got a lot of writing oh so this is the Art work life professional practice module. I think I literally just wrote out the whole module. I think that's a very good way for me to understand what is needed because I am dyslexic. Things take a little bit longer for me to understand. It's not a massive issue, but there's just certain ways I have to work around to be able to do it. Got some more handwriting. I don't think that's my handwriting, I can tell you that, because <laughs> my that handwriting is too neat. So we probably did a group crit or something. I think I was trying to work out, maybe that's a sculpture I wanted to make. Oh yeah, I remember now. So there was these, there was this polystyrene that was left over, and I decided to carve into it, cast into it. I think I've got the pictures in this module actually. Let get the paper open. Oh, so I must have just done it, and then I've decided to upscale it, which is what this picture indicates. That was a box that I got made by um, some technicians at the university. They were very lovely people as well. Got week by week. So that was what I originally wanted to do, to carve all the way down to the bottom. But I think it actually happened in the end. I think this is just some notes from art history or once a week once or twice a week we've got given a like a lecture of all the admin bits in between so we had like artistry we had a presentation about how you can develop beyond third year etc etc I've also got my laptop on if you haven't guessed that because I was doing some admin bits and I thought oh actually if I look through this this might help me with creative simulation lots of artists that I've literally just written down <laughs> the difference between now and then is like if I wrote about an artist I would do a full artist page now it's literally you get mentioned and that's it <laughs> brilliant oh okay got some prints oh that's quite nice actually that feels like to me cardiograph board on wax so week 12 I'll just read this bit carry on as normal for the sculpture side of, car of carving, research and print of the names from the gallery scene on Wednesday to add to my sketchbook. Drawing wise, start again on black paper to draw on. Shall be inserting the gallery artists to accompany my work. A lot of meetings this week, tutorials with Claire, Steward, and a final chance to sell our work for the open studios on Wednesday. Also, last meeting with my helper before Christmas, dealing with sculpt structure of my dissertation. Oh, this is quite heavy actually. Stuck together. Stuck together. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I did. So these are actually some prints that I did. Back at uni, the circular, and that I think that's dry paint, and then this is just more wax because the wax is just really lovely to fill. I think I actually did some prints of these, so that might be interesting to go back into because I can actually use candle wax, it won't be as hard, but it will do basically the same result. Put some more as well here.
I've got some more. I was a bit obsessed with wax. I think I was just trying to find a way of entertaining my brain from not just carving every day. Because I like to have several prints on the same. See, that as a composition is quite nice. You've got the tape, which makes these really nice dark lines when you print. The wax should print off properly. I always enjoyed carving out sections rather than making it a perfect square because it just it was really boring. And then these are some of the prints. I believe this one here is of the wax carving. I think most of them are with the wax actually. That one's definitely with the paint. These are really nice actually. I might have to rip them out my sketchbook. <laughs> Okay, Lee Chrysler. I actually saw this painting the other day when I went to London. I think it was a couple of weeks now. But it's still there. It's still up and running. So I might have to take note about this wax printing technique. Because for one, they're really nice to fill. But also, I would like to get back into cardiograph board. So that's something to mentally note. Some more artist research. Henry Matisse, that one was still at the Tate in London as well, so it's nice to see that things haven't changed very much. Maybe it's just too early to move, might be why. Dissertation research, lovely bit of art history that I absolutely hated, I don't know why. I love learning about art, but I don't, just don't like writing about it. I'd rather verbally communicate about my opinion and what other people's opinions are like as well. Oh, I've got a little note here. Today I shall be cutting my plaster sculpture so I can mark deeper into the lower realm. With them I'll have Joe to hold the work as I cut as 50% angle. If goes to plan, it'll still be able to work on it with smaller tools whilst being separated from the rest of the work. And then I've got some artists that I've done some woodwork. My plaster box, which I believe I did either this year or the year before. I still actually got them and I've got a really nice lovely photograph still. And actually these three blocks are in my parents' back garden. <laughs> They're used because they just attract all sorts of kind of weathering and the marks from the plants that they have. And then we've got just some admin -y bits. That's the carving. That's when I realised I had to chop the block because I couldn't get into it <laughs> because my arms weren't long enough. And I started taking sections of it. <laughs> I love this. I know within my art practice there is not a lot of any colour involvement every time. Everything that I have tried, it's overpowering too much and does not seem to balance. So the idea of using no paints but chemicals to create paintings by the same erosion seems to be more my thing. Left is the best idea of what I want. Note that the colours I have chosen are... I can't re read that word. Oh, period, periodically, periodically? They wrap it to buy other chemicals. Tanya has done the chemical reactions with her copper and silver concrete plaster blocks. And that's it. That's the block. I remember being very heavy, so I had to keep on asking for help. <laughs> I've just got some sections of some drawings of my. I think it's my glass sculpture, actually. That makes sense. Because then, then I did some bigger ones. Because that one kind of looks like a bit of like a hand. And that's when cubism starts to come in a little bit more and I started to do well become fascinated by cubism basically so that's module two some more drawing oh we had an interim interim show which was very eventful <laughs> a lot of writing I like this rip paper effect on the lines I was just doing for my sculpture pieces. I think it was just very, I want to say Japanesey or Asian because of the way they seem like actual writing bits. Okay, some more bits and pieces. I think I'm really 
that one stands out the most for me. Or that one. Oh. Got some more artist research. I love something about mark, mark making with mixed media like charcoal and white acrylic. It's always so nice to use, especially when the acrylic is still wet because it just becomes this lovely material to work with because you can still work with it but still create a lovely gradient of mark. Barbara Hepworth is in there. Some more bits and pieces. So this is after I've, I've carved it. So I poured plaster back into the block to stabilise it and I just start chipping away at it and creating a massive mess on the floor. And then this is when, oh, got a bit of charcoal there, bits of collage stuff come through. Just a, it's a random artist research that's put into the mix. I've got some more collage. I think these bits of paper were actually from a bin that someone threw away and I was like, can I just have them, please? <laughs> Started creating some... Yeah, so some of them were, were thrown away and then I drew on top of them. Some more writing. Oh, I did a week of pottery. Because I want my parents' birthdays are in March and I decided just to do some pottery to give to them because it's nice to give them a gift that I've made. But I really enjoyed it actually. Never got the base right, but it's fine. <laughs> also these are some images from Namibia, which is where I went the gap between college and uni for three weeks. I've got some more. Those pictures aren't from Namibia. <laughs> I've got these as well, which is actually just terracotta clay. I've wetted it and just used it to draw. Some more. Lots and lots of writing compared to the fact that the sketchbook is a mess. <laughs> Go home and research. <laughs> okay, so I started to do a bit of a clay drawing and I incorporated the collage. Michelangelo. Raphael is in there. Got someone else to write my book because why not? <laughs> And I've also got some more drawings. Some bigger drawings, which some of these I've actually got a large scale of, but not with the clay. Just trying to incorporate the clay in the drawings. I've also got a little tape bit, which I started to like bookmark my book. More collage. Oh, my studio space as well. How funny is that? It was an absolute mess, but I loved it. Oh, and this is for a show matter which was a, the interim show which we did with several other people. Quite enjoyed it, but I think... No, this one was fine actually. So yeah, some spare glass, so I have to put a frame, which I still have the frame today, that I've actually got a map of the world in it. Some of my sculpture pieces there. Great photography. Phones were great back in that day. Some more. Oh, this is like interview bits. Oh, so this was a group re review. So as we went around the room, I think we just explained what happened and we just all wrote it down and then we put it into our sketchbook. And then we've got some larger drawings. And a, and a stippin 
reappears into my sketchbook. <laughs> Kiefer pops up again. Must have forgot that I put him in. Then I was trying to work out how to display for my final piece. Andy Goldsworthy, apparently. Richard Sierra. Oh, put them in, didn't I? Okay, a bit of insulation. And then I think this is when I started to prep for my final piece. my mental to do this <laughs> glaze clay pots film and edit made print images artist research Henry Moore is in here and that's it wow I mean my brain is tingling because I can't it's funny how much you forget from all that period because at that period you just kind of I don't want to say daydream but because you don't have as much to worry about back then to now it just kind of floats away in the background and now that I've gone for it all what stands out for me the most I really like these Prints here. Really like them. I could be half tempted to rip them off and use them, <laughs> which I think I might do actually. I really enjoy these two. I think because it's already got the colour on it. The only problem is those paints that I used were oil based and they were of like orange colours and there was a bit of blue there as well, which I've only got blue, white, red. No, we got blue, white and black. We haven't got a vari variation of them, but I will keep this in mind for future products because I feel like this would be such a lovely print to carry on, and especially because of the size of it. It would just be nice to have in an A4 because I tend to make sizes conflict with each other. I also like the circles as well something very settling about that and this fact that th this texture is just from acrylic paint it's just a nice little feature this has got tape on it that i've just roughed up and this is just wax which i can then replicate with just normal wax so yeah that's it <laughs> wow um definitely a sketchbook i'll be coming back to because i enjoyed the process of just reliving my whole life in it if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer them. In my description box, you'll find links to my social medias and also my eBay selling account, which is where you'll find all my artworks I feature on my channel, as well as a couple of extras. There's also my PayPal account if you'd like to send a donation. That'll be amazing. And I shall see you guys later. Bye for now.